welcome back. Oh, if that? you are one of the millions of Americans who suffer from wrist and carpal tunnel pain, a mousetrap may be to blame. Here to explain is chiropractor Dr. Bob. What's up, dude? <laughs> well, I don't know what that, we didn't plan that, okay. obviously. All right, what did you bring? Because there's lots of We have a lot of things. toys today. Yeah, a lot of toys. The mousetrap. Let's just go back in time. This is a very original mouse. You can see it has one of those old ports, not even a USB. Right. And if you look, your hand over time would be exhausted. Huh. And then you always have to fight with the wire and where it's going to be exactly. This is an ergonomic mouse. See how it just fits to the contour of your hand. I see and that. It moves gently. You don't have to worry. But you know what? You can still have fatigue okay. using the mouse over time. That's why we have the mouse trap because people have their hands hours and hours and hours on the mouse. And okay. it causes pain and inflammation. But you know, I spend a lot of time on a computer myself and I don't really always, I don't have carpal tunnel pain. So let's talk about that. Why? Well, sugar mm -hmm. causes inflammation. So inflammation can occur right in here. So the nerve from your neck goes down your arm all the way through this area right here. This is the tunnel. Okay. That's why they call it the carpal tunnel. I brought this vice grip as a visual because that does happen. And people will have that released. Huh. So surgically, and I've had people have it done two or three times. And I'm bringing that point up is because if you're inflamed, so you have surgery and you're not changing, it's going to happen again. Try no sugar before you go to surgery, though. That, that's the point. Okay, let's, what's his name? This is Fred. Hey, Fred. So he's been around for a while, missed a few meals. But what yeah. I, want, I want our audience, we have a very educated audience to see, is you know the old song, the hip bones connected yeah, to the, the whatever bone. bone and da, da, da. Yeah. So the elbow da -da. is associated with the wrist. Okay. So it's not uncommon for me to have somebody come into my office that has had carpal tunnel surgery and we check their elbow and their elbow is out of alignment. Mm. And we gently correct the elbow misalignment. How does that work? Well, it's just something that we do in our practice. You know, I've been doing this since before you were oh, born. Oh, is it secret? It's secret. It's one of those little <laughs> secret sauce remedies. <laughs> Anyways, we do it in our office. But if you have misalignment here, you could have chronic challenges going on right down there. Okay. And so this could happen from a push-up or playing tennis or any type of activity. Sports? Oh, yeah, absolutely. And so if somebody comes into the practice and they say, you know, Dr. Bob, I'm having pain in both wrists, we know that the nerves from your neck go down to your wrist. Hmm. If you have pain in both wrists, always want to have your neck checked. Because if you have misalignment in your neck, you know, we've done programs in the past with techno neck and the head in the forward position. Right. If this is being compressed, it affects the nerves. So if you have pain in both wrists, it's probably coming from your neck. Is there a remedy, though, that can fix it before we go into surgery and we quit the sugar? Well, part of what we do in our office is that we use vitamin B6, yes. very important nutrient that you can use. You can do head slides that we talked about. Obviously, you can come into our practice because that's what we do. We help improve posture, which improves the right. mechanics, which takes the pressure off the nerve. And then you might think to yourself, well, how do you know if you have carpal tunnel syndrome or not? This is a very sophisticated piece of equipment. It's called a JMR dynamometer. Okay. Test question, by the way. And we, we actually can check our patient's grip by having them squeeze it. Let me just, let's lower that down here a little bit. Let's pretend this is David's neck. Oh, no problem. Urgh, oh, my gosh. <laughs> and so what we do in our practice is that we can check your grip strength. And that one, let's do it seriously. Yeah, squeeze it as hard as you can. Can I let it go? You had, let's do that one more time. Yeah, it oh, we have to wrap this up. Okay. Yeah, okay that's good. You <sighs> had 40 pounds of, uh, of strength in them, which is awesome. Well. And we always compare it to the, to the other side. And you, let me give you a present. Okay. He's the, giving out presents. That present. Show the camera real quick before we wrap this up. You can buy these shirts. They're actually kind of fun. Read it. It says, if you wore the spine on your face, you would take better care of it. Join the revolution. <laughs> I like it. This is for you. I appreciate that. Thank you. All right. Uh, you can get all the information on our website from Dr. Bob. Thank you. Cool. Fred, good to see you. All right, David, we're going to toss things over to you. It's time to talk coffee.